Megan in fifth grade when she moved here. And so I got to the wonderful opportunity to see her grow and become the beautiful woman that she is today. She had a few rocky moments, but that only made her stronger. All of us got to see their relationship grow and flourish from fifth grade would you rathers to high school love stories. <laughs> we all got to experience the highs and the lows of the relationship. It was really put to the test when Megan was a senior in high school and Tommy was away at boot camp for three months. Every day for those three months, I had to walk with Megan down to the post office at 3.45 for our lunch so that she could pick up Tommy's letter. Now the way that her face would light up when she was reading those words was something else. And then she'd get really pissed off if he said something stupid, of course. <laughs> but anyways, as a couple, they've already been through so much. I know that they can handle anything. They have a strong foundation built on trust, friendship, and an everlasting love. After all, coming together is a beginning, keeping together is a progress, working together is a success. A success that I know they'll have no problem accomplishing. Yeah. I forgot my phone. Let's see. It's okay. It, it's out of battery. No battery. Yeah, this is awesome. We're good. Um, let's see. There's lots of stories that Tommy and I have shared. All great ones. Usually it ends up in him being mad because I somehow managed to get lucky and accomplished being better at him. <laughs> Not always, obviously. There's lots of ties everywhere, but I um, wanted to start with a cute little story of the first day Tommy um, let me get welcomed to the Downingville School. It was my kindergarten year, and um, I've already had to stop him from telling people this story like three times in the last 24 hours. But um, this it was my first day at school and I remember it was, it was our first recess and I did something that apparently impressed seven-year-old Tommy and he comes up to me and says, hey, that was way cool. And um, I'm Mexican, you can't tell. <laughs> but the word way to a, a young uh, child is it's not like, it's not a curse word or anything, but usually that's not the way you speak to one another unless if you've like known each other for a long time. And I took it as an insult, I guess, because I proceeded by punching him in the stomach. And that's how he walked me into the school, and after that, we slowly became best friends. With other stories like that, you know, shooting each other with paintballs, and um, falling off bikes. But the one amazing thing about Tommy and I, I don't think we've ever had like an actual fight. And I have known him for what, like 14 years now? And um, I've grown to, or I've seen him grow and we've both grown, but um, he's gone from this kid who was doing mountain bikes and all that to this guy that obviously chose his path at a very early age, like literally when he was born, he came out with camo. <laughs> and, uh, so, he's always been a person I've always looked up to because he's always had very set goals. And one thing I've always admired about him and Megan is the, the way they've always like gone through everything, long distance relationships, not talking for a long time. And I served as well when I came on the floor. Pillows to be little, yeah. help Megan. Um, yeah, we're watching. Pick up. Sorry, anyway, while Tommy was in boot camp and all this, I was also one of the friends that uh, helped Megan. And, you know, I kept her entertained. We made this cute little joke where Tommy actually pays me five dollars an hour to take care of Megan, which he still has not paid. And um, I think that these two have grown, what's, this is their fourth year together, and I've seen them go from fifth, sorry. I knew the math earlier. 
there's a, there's a bit of tents up here. Sorry. Anyway, uh, they have grown together, and I think that they are more ready than anybody ever expected for them to get married. I myself question, you know, it's like, are they ready? They seem young, but in, in the long run, I, I, I always knew that they are very strong individuals. They always stick with each other. They, just like every relationship, they have their arguments, and, but they always resolve it. And today, watching her walk down that aisle and seeing his face, that was like, I already knew they were ready, but that was like the icing on the cake. I know it was, it was time, and I know it's gonna last forever, we hope, because that's, that's what this is for, right? And um, I think that they put a very special thing together, and it's something for everybody to look up to, because these are two very strong individuals who deserve to be together and deserve to be happy forever after. <laughs> This time, everybody raise your glasses and give your cheer to the bride and groom.